Hey guys, Shorty Fields here with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean Bear today. Taking a go out to see come out to see things on sale. Now today though, new release wise, there's actually quite a few things coming out. Uh, the main big thing releasing is Sonic 2. And I know with that one, there's a number of different retail exclusives, at least as, from what I can remember, I know I saw a couple exclusives for that one. And then the one uh, is the, that's coming out today that I really want to find, hopefully it's out somewhere, and hopefully I can find the Blu-ray. I have a feeling that it'll probably be at Best Buy. That's kind of the only place I feel like it would have it. May, there's a chance Walmart could have it, but if they do, I feel like it might only be on a DVD. We'll see. It's but it's David Cronenberg's new movie, uh, Crimes of the Future. And that's one that I really, really want to get. I really love Cronenberg's movie, so it's one I'm really looking forward to seeing. And then the other one releasing today was the movie Men. Uh, so those are the main big ones coming out today. But also at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for the things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. Well, we're taking a look here in the front to see if they change anything. It's so funny though. It's like they have the ads right here for Sonic 2. Like it's changed for this, but they never change. Like I, it's like very rarely. I mean, I've talked about this a lot. Does this particular location? ever actually put the new stuff here it's funny like a random deodorant there but it's just so funny because it's like the ad for it but it's not here and it's funny it's like this too where i always check this 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 morbius the you know the um exclusive target one it's always three copies it's almost like one day there will be, it'll be less than three copies but for, for a long time it's always these same three copies we're we'll head over to the section though and see if there's anything out over there hopefully they put out the new stuff over there because i feel like there was something exclusive when it comes to sonic 2 and we'll see if maybe they'll have that Crimes of the Future one over there. I don't know though. I really don't know if that one will be here or not, but we shall see. Yeah, but in there though, absolutely nothing new out. I didn't see in the spot too anything for Crimes of um, the Future, so I'm not sure if they're going to have that one. I, I have a feeling though that there's a slight chance they could possibly have it at Walmart, but I just feel like because of the nature of the movie, they don't know if they want to have that. I don't know. It, I, I really don't know. We'll see. Because I do remember seeing them have, uh, from the same company that's releasing that movie, they had DVDs and Blu-rays of both of them. So hopefully if they do have it, it's the same situation where they'd have a DVD and a Blu-ray uh, for that one. But we shall see. I am going to go, though, to this Walmart and then to another, um, you know, Walmart. And I'll probably head to a different Target, too, because I want to see, you know, what the exclusives are for Sonic if there was anything today for Sonic 2. I also want to say, guys, thanks again for everybody who's been getting the video reaction uh, cameos in me and Lauren Francesca's new film, Pay to Die. I wanted to kind of explain that to you guys a little more too, how the, um, the video reaction cameos work in the movie. So basically we're making a horror a slasher film, horror comedy slasher film called Pay to Die. And right now we have an Indiegogo running with you know ways you guys can help on the project. And the one smaller way you guys can help and a way to get a video cameo in the movie. So basically any of you guys that get this perk will be able to appear in the movie in a really fun cameo. So basically the way this is gonna work is in the movie, the movie is about a group of filmmakers who are making a horror film. And they actually end up doing kind of like me and Lauren are doing a Indiegogo campaign. So they end up launching an Indiegogo campaign you know, to help the film's budget. And what ends up happening is when they launch the campaign, some kind of like, you know, um, there's going to, it ends up getting a lot of attention and getting going viral because of someone that they have that's attached to act in the movie. They're like, oh, they're telling everyone, oh, this big name actor is going to be in the movie. So once this campaign goes live, the campaign gets a lot of attention and starts going viral. So that's where we're going to have everyone's video reactions coming in. So we're going to have everybody kind of looking shocked, looking interested, like looking like they might want to donate to the film. So it should be a really, really fun uh, montage scene. So that's pretty much how the, um, the video cameo is going to work and then anyone that gets that perk will be getting an email a little bit after the production and we'll be getting everyone all the details on how the scene's going to work and all that type of stuff but i wanted to kind of explain it more in detail just so you guys kind of knew how it was going to work and how the video cameo was going to work but you guys can get that from this special link but like i said it's a really fun way to get you guys involved in the movie if you can't come out in person or and there's also is some larger video roles as well like to play a vlogger and newscaster in the movie but this is a smaller way to get your video in the movie and to help out on the project. But now I'm gonna head over to Walmart and like I said, hopefully they have some stuff out over there. The only thing I ended up getting in there, you guys are wondering, is these, I, I don't know why I like these random things, these foodie things that are like mini shrunken down food. I don't know. They, they, these new ones are interesting because they're like fast food things. So it's like shrunken down cups. I don't know, I always like weird things like that. But now I'm like gonna head over to uh, Walmart. Into Walmart we go. But we've not peeked yet, so let's see, you know, what's back here and everything. So let's see, we're gonna head back here. You can sometimes like sort of see right over here, like kind of peek through and kind of see if you can see anything. So I, I know, oh, ooh, yeah, nothing. There is nothing. They, 
they forgot the movies or they all got raptured today look yeah i think they got raptured from here they have the spots for them like look you see like sonic 2 and then i see man which is a really twisted movie for them to have <laughs> and then let's see anything else in here i don't see anything uh, last scene alive that was another one today so we're definitely going to another location though on the over here though is probably where they would put let's see at least the t the t is off today finally it's normally monsters university where it's like oh slowly we've got a shout from blue or whatever they're saying it's like non-stop so loud so let's see um morbius that's not a new one there down here is probably where there's some new stuff let's see hellbender no those were already out I don't see, though, any spots for the other ones. Oh, yeah, hot, here's some of the new ones. It's going to be Hot Set. I'm sorry, Hot Seat. Um, where, no, The Good Neighbor. That was another one that was new. I don't know. We'll check the other location, though, to see. So I'm not sure if they're going to have that one. I had, I had, like I said, I had a feeling that was kind of like the content of that movie. I didn't know if they were going to like that or not. You know, anything like, I don't know. You, you guys know what I mean with Walmart and certain contents and stuff that I don't know if they would really like that one because it's very sexual stuff in that movie. So I don't know if they would have carried that one. But we're we'll head to the um, another Walmart though and see. And if, they, if not, fingers crossed that hopefully the, um, you know, for some reason or other, that other Target put it out. They will check at, or they have it at Best Buy. There's a good chance, but we shall see. This is a long fingers crossed because I'd like to find this one and I think when I looked on Amazon right now it was sold out at the moment or at least it was earlier I guess because it sold so well so we'll, we'll shall see still the fingers crossed I want to show you guys this funny thing it's like this thing here it says like take a look in take a look inside and it's like last time I looked it was like the, the weirdest thing. you kind of see it yeah it's like telling you to take a look in here and it's all these like rags and dirty things and everything it's like trying to tell you to rent this space but it's like like it's like, why would it tell you to take a look? It's like, take a look at that. I remember back in the day when I was a kid, the, the Towson Center Mall had a thing like this where you could watch the, um, you know, the updates to the mall as they were changing it. But it's like, this is just like a bunch of weird stuff in here. But today though, it is like absolutely like boiling hot out today. It is like so hot. Usually right out in, in, in San Diego, right around this time of the year in August, it starts like getting so hot. So like today it is, oh, as they say, it's a scorcher. But we're gonna head into the other Target here and let's see, hopefully this location will have out uh, the stuff today. Because I, I, I feel like there is something exclusive for Sonic 2. I think it was either exclusive cover art or something like that, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong though, but we'll see. Because I'd like to at least see it out and, and also see too if they had the Cronenberg movie here as well. But we shall see, fingers crossed. Well, I see some stuff here right in the front, so that's good. This location does update this stuff. So it's funny, this one though, still has Doctor Strange, or sometimes I call him Doctor Odd. He's still up in here now. But they didn't change it to the Sonic one, but they did switch Sonic out. So they have Sonic 2 here, and then they have, so I don't see anything exclusive here, so we'll see if there even is an exclusive for a Sonic here or not. You can see too, they have like the stickers up here for the new prices, so that's kind of funny. They're gonna switch them. So let's go over the actual section though and see the other things that they have over there. But fingers crossed, hopefully they have uh, some of the other things out there as well, but we shall see. So in here though, they do have out all the stuff over in the section. I didn't see anything exclusive for Sonic. They do have this two movie collection here uh, for $29.99 and then the 4K for $27.99 here. But they do have, um, this other one that came out today called Vivo. I don't know anything about this one. If you guys have seen this one, let me know how this one was. Also, they do have Men here for $24.99. They have Harry Potter, this um, uh, HBO Max special here for $14.99. But other than that, the only other thing I see here is the new Mel Gibson movie here, Hot Seat. And that one's a $16.99. But other than that, though, I didn't see anything else different here, though, as far as I could tell. I did see over here, though, this one kind of cool, kind of like old school, like Halloween mask here for Yoda down here. This was kind of cool. It's like old replica mask mask thing so that was kind of cool thing here and they have all these other ones but they only seem to have the yoda ones but that was kind of cool i remember like as a kid seeing some of these kind of like old school masks like that they were kind of like when i was a little kid they were kind of done with these type of ones but i do remember them when i was really 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 young though that type of a mask into the second walmart we go and I will say, though, I did check. I looked on BestBuy.com right now because I was like, I feel, have a feeling they're probably not going to have that one in here, the Cronenberg movie. So I looked on BestBuy.com and it said three available at the location I'm going to next. So hopefully they're out on the shelves and everything. But 
Worst case, if they're not, I could probably go to one other one to find it in person. So we shall see. But as far as it, I can tell, it looks like they have it in person there, though. So <laughs> fingers crossed. So we've not peeked yet. So we'll see, you know, what's out in the shelf and everything. Oh, I actually see the one uh, Cronenberg one, but I'm only seeing the DVD of it, which is what I kind of figured was going to be the case. So here, though, when it comes to uh, Sonic today, which is what I thought was there was like an exclusive uh, cover. So, yes, yeah, see, they have it at Walmart, a different cover. So here's this is the standard one and this is the, the exclusive one for Walmart. So it's $22.99 and then $27.99 for the 4K. And they do have men here, which is really funny that they have this because this is a very, very weird movie for them to carry. And then uh, Weekend Warriors, that was another one today. And then this is another one today that released this one called last scene alive if you guys have seen this one though let me know if this is worth checking out i always liked robert butler and i i don't know how this one was i have not heard a whole lot about it so if you guys have seen it though let me know if that one's any good or not uh the, like i said the other one today was this one vivo so I don't think I even saw the trailer for this one. It's $22.99 for the um, Blu-ray, $17.99 for the DVD. And I don't know if this Sonic Boom thing might have come out today too, this double pack thing, uh, this uh, uh, you know, multi-pack set. Over here though, nothing new here. Let's take a look though over here on the side. These are new. I don't remember these. These um, Despicable Me. Uh, I don't think I've seen this one. I think I've seen these others. I don't. This is the one I don't rec recognize. Let's see over here though. So they have Crimes of the Future. Like I said, this is the one I want to get, but I want to get the Blu-ray for sure of this. Definitely. So hopefully it's really out at, um, you know, at Walmart, I mean, at uh, Best Buy. And then this is the one that came out today, this Harry Potter special. There was an HBO Max one. Other than that, though, right there, nothing else new here. There are some empty spots here. Uh, Father Stew, so those weren't new. Uh, this was one of the ones that was new today, though, the Hot Seat. $14.99 for the Blu-ray, $12.96 for the DVD of that one. And then over here, though, let's see. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss over anything because you have to really look because sometimes there's stuff mixed in down here that are new. But I'm not seeing anything new down here. No, as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to be anything else mixed in here from what I can tell. So we will, though, go to the Best Buy, though, and hopefully, you know, they will have the crimes of the future. Over here, though, when it comes to these, I'm not seeing anything new here. You always have to check, though, because a, a lot of times they have the exclusive things on the sides here. Let's see, I see these are one of the exclusive only at Walmart ones that they've had. I've showed these ones before, but I don't see any new ones right now, though. But at least this one, though, has had the, um, the stuff out today, though. So that's that's a good thing, though. Yeah, I also realized, too, one of the other things that was coming out today that I totally forgot about was Heat was coming out to uh, 4K today for the first time. That's another one that I feel like will probably be at, you know, um, Best Buy. I don't know if there was an exclusive for that one or not. I don't believe so, like any steelbooks or anything for that one. But we'll see. I, I, I did realize that was one of the other things today. But fingers crossed, though, that this Best Buy has the Crimes of the Future one out on Blu-ray, though. Because I got to say that I don't want to buy something on, on DVD. I want to get the Blu-ray version of that one. So we shall see, though. Into Best Buy we go. So we'll take a look over here, though, and hopefully we can find that one today. Looking here, though, on the front here, uh, and they do have, oh, this is actually a pretty cool steelbook for uh, Sonic 2. It's done like the old, like, video game cover for the Sega Genesis cartridge. That's actually a really cool design on this one. This is actually, it, it's like a, it definitely has that kind of a look to it, or at least to me, it kind of has that look like the, the game cartridge because of, like, the colors right here on it. I don't know, I don't know if everyone will pick up on that, but it definitely has that kind of look to me. It has that, I don't know, I think that's a pretty cool one uh that image on this one and that was $30.99 for that one let's see though any oh yeah they did they, they do have heat here was there a heat yep there was a steelbook i thought there was going to be a steelbook for that one it's $29.99 but the standard 4k is $22.99 for that one and then though over here though this is one of the other things that came out today now where is that crimes oh here it is it's over there few it's over there but this is one of the other ones i've said today was uh men but then other than that though which other ones here is new this is one of the other ones that came out today doom and it's funny this is getting a 4k it's one, this is one of those movies that i never actually watched before i always remember like hearing about this when this came out and people like said it wasn't amazing but i won't lie i always secretly kind of wanted to watch it i don't know if i would buy it right now but i, I do kind of want to watch it let me know guys is this really is it worth watching is it is it a fun movie like i always sort of wanted to see it but then i always remember hearing like a lot of people at the time saying oh it's so bad when it first came out so i didn't i didn't watch it but i kind of feel like maybe i'd like it but they do have um the crimes of passion in here 
the crimes of the future in here. So at least they have that. So I'm definitely getting that for $15.99. And then they do have um, Vivo was the other one today. And then Last Seen Alive, which is the other one. Let me know how this one was. And I think this was today too, this BBC, The Green Planet. I believe this 4K was today for uh, $34.99. But other than that though, I don't see any other new ones here today though, as far as I can tell. But at least they had all this stuff and the Sonic one still. Yeah, so at least though they had the uh, the Crimes of the Future one out in there. Because I was really worried. I was like, am I going to go there? And then like they went, wasn't going to be on the shelf. Because every so often that does happen when you see that. So luckily enough, it was out and everything. But let me know in the comments below, guys, you know, what you end up picking up today. If you guys picked up anything on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K in the stores. Also, too, let me know anything new that you guys have seen in theaters. I did go see um, Nope, uh, you know, this past week in the theaters. I love that movie. That was... You know, I'm, I'm you know, finally getting back to theaters again with everything in the world. And so I'm glad to be finally going back. But I, I love that. Like, that was like one of those kind of movies, too, that you kind of like obsess with certain things in it. Like, I just, I love like the, it had like this strange emptiness, too, because of, you know, it was shot, too, the way they shot it, too, because of everything in the world. They had to change the way they did it a little bit, too. So it worked good for that story-wise. But I, I loved it. It was just probably out of all of his films, I would say my favorite was, you know, Get Out and then Nope, and then Us. As much as I liked Us, I didn't absolutely love it. Like, Get Out, I like obsessively loved, and, and it also scared me too. Like, I always talk about how like the guy, anyone running at you really fast always scares me. So that, so that scene in the movie really creeped me out in Get Out. But I really love Jordan Peele's movies. I, I don't know, I, I loved it. It was, it's, I don't wanna ruin a whole lot about it, but it's just basically about this weird type of thing that shows up around, above the farm. What is this thing? And that's kind of all you can say. Uh, but it's worth watching 100% if you guys have not seen it yet. Uh, let me know though if you guys did see uh, Nope, what you guys thought of the film, but really loved it. Also guys, thanks again for those of you who have been getting the video reactions on the film. I really appreciate that guys. And it's so cool to see you guys getting involved with this one. And that's the thing too, is it's gonna be a really cool scene because all you guys are gonna be part of this big montage scene. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about how the video reaction perk links. And for that perk though, you can only get that from this particular link under this video. When you go to the main campaign page itself, you won't see that one, but you only see that on the actual you know, main uh, campaign pain you know on the actual link that i'm sending you guys uh, underneath this video anyway though guys like i said thanks again for for watching i'll see you guys later bye and the first one I got here is from Arrow Video, and this is one that I just wanted you guys to know was available. This is one here called Running Out of Time. Now, this one has on here uh, Running Out of Time 1. It also includes the uh, sequel as well. It also includes the English language version, the Cantonese version, and the Mandarin version uh, for the audio tracks on the movies. And then feature-wise, uh, both of them have uh, commentary tracks by uh, Hong Kong film expert Frank DeJean. Uh, they have on the, the um, first film, has archival interview in here with the director, uh, archival be uh, featurette on the film, archival interview with the composer, a theatrical trailer, image gallery and then on the sequel it has a the commentary track as well it also has a 52 minute documentary from 2003 uh, that's uh, talking about Hong Kong um, cinema history mythology on here it also has a theatrical trailer and an image gallery on this one and here's a look though inside and, and here at, at the discs and everything so basically it's both films are on each of their own discs and then there's also a booklet in here which has some stuff about the production and the film and everything like that as well. But like I said, one of the guys know that this one was available uh, from Arrow Video. The next one here, uh, this is from Lion's Gate. This is one here called Hot Seat. And this is one that stars Kevin Dillon and Mel Gibson. This is a fun movie. It's like, basically though, it's about Kevin Dillon's character. And he works with kind of like this, I can't remember what kind of a building it was. Some, I, I know it was like kind of like a cyber kind of like, security type firm type place and he ends up sitting down in this chair and basically he finds out that the chair has these explosives underneath of it so it's kind of like he has to do exactly what he's told otherwise if he, you know if he tries to get up from the seat it's going to blow up so it's a really interesting concept it's kind of almost like they I, they kind of like taking like um speed one of those type of things where it's like you know if you don't do a specific thing it's bad so it's that type of a thing where it's like he's trapped in this one spot and then like the cops and everything like mel gibson's character is trying to figure out exactly what they're going to do and i like i said i thought this was actually a pretty fun uh, movie here. Here. Like I said, this one here is called A Hot Seat. The next one here, this is one I was really interested in seeing. This is from Lionsgate as well. This is also from A24. And this is a movie here called Men. And this was a really, really interesting movie. This is from the same director who did Ex Machima and Annihilation. And if you guys know his movies, they're very, very, like, they're very interesting visuals. And this one had some really crazy stuff. And the the, the one thing in here really creeped me out. I, I have a, a, a big fear of, like, people running at me. Like, the running at me stuff creeps me out so much. That's why in um, Get Out, I always found Get, Get Out to be really scary 
story because like that one scene when the guy's like running one direction and then like runs the other way and comes right towards him like that's like my worst fear like if i ever see anybody like ever like running towards me from far away that scares me in, in this movie <laughs> there's a scene when like the guy like all of a sudden like he's like standing there real still and all of a sudden starts running and i'm just oh that and so that really creeped me out and this is a very strange movie it's basically though and everybody kind of knows that going into this. It's basically, though, about this woman who moves into this... I, I, think, she's, I think she's moving there. She's kind of just basically going to stay at this, this house kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And the guy that runs it is this really peculiar guy. And he's all like, oh, like really freaky and everything. And basically, though, you just know something's off. And then all of a sudden, when she gets to this town, like she starts seeing like weird people. And I don't, I don't want to ruin everything. It's one of these really slow build-up movies. But it's really interesting. It's hard to explain some of this stuff, but it is just... It it, it it was a little some of the stuff that was a little sad though I don't like watching a lot of movies that deal with a lot of certain levels of sad sadness stuff anymore than these days but I still did did like it it's it's just very 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 out there and peculiar but I really did think it was an interesting movie like I said this one here is called Men. And the next one I got here is from Paramount, and this is the complete 24th season here of South Park. Now, this is a, a, a shorter season, though, because this is only, like, 94 minutes, because basically, uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna only going to go on to streaming services. I'm not sure how it works now, because I, I haven't really followed a lot of the newer South Parks in the last probably two years or so. I know that they've been doing a lot of things on Paramount+, Plus, so I know these particular episodes, because this season contains two episodes, the extended length episodes for the, you know, from the... Um, I don't want to say the names because sometimes they flag the videos when you say it. But yeah, you can read the um, the thing. But you, when you say these certain words, they flag can, like, the videos has like issues. <laughs> I, I do know that. But basically, though, I want to let you guys know this one was available. So I'm glad that they're releasing these ones because I was wondering when I saw that they were putting them onto Paramount Plus if they were going to actually have physical discs still. But the good thing is Paramount seems to really be embracing physical media still as well. So I'm really glad that like the stuff that's Paramount Plus is getting you know physical releases as well. So be with some Vodhead. I, I, no, I, I don't think we even have finger, fingers crossed. I'm pretty sure they will put that out. Same with the series. I don't see why they wouldn't. I'm, I'm hoping, too, for um, Orphan 2. You know, Orphan 2. I, I think it's actually going to go to limited theaters. I really want to see that one, though. But, yeah, like I said, I'm really glad that they're still con you know, continuing with physical releases of the stuff that's going on there. Now, the next ones here, these ones are all from Mill Creek, and these are ones I want to let you guys know were available. And this one here is Param Paranormal Highway, a five-part investigation series. So this is, it has five different episodes on here. The Paranormal, Paranormal Northwest, uh, Ghosts and UFOs. UFOs, the Impossible or Orchins, uh, Hauntings and Apparitions, and Best of Bray Road and Bigfoot. So I definitely know about Bigfoot because I did that uh, Amityville Bigfoot movie. But I, it was kind of always funny when I was doing that Bigfoot movie because it was like the first movie that I ever acted in was a Bigfoot movie. So I've always kind of like, um, I always have like, a, I always like, like Bigfoot movies in, in a weird way just because the first time I ever got onto like anything like on a real set, at least to me, it felt like at the time it was like a Bigfoot thing. Uh, there's also the other one that's available. They have is one here called, um, you know, uh, County Line here. And this is another one I want to let you guys know is available. This one has in here uh, Denise Richards uh, in the film. And the other one here is the one uh, Weekend Warriors, and this one here has Jason, um, Jason London, and Corbin Burnson. I always think of Corbin Burnson as you know the dentist. I feel like you know, no matter what, I'm always going to think of him as that. Uh, like I said, just want you guys to know that these ones were available from um, Mill Creek. And the next one here is one that I want you guys to know was available, and this is from Wild Eye Releasing. And this is the Amityville Double Feature, which has Amityville in space and Amityville in the hood. Now I have not looked at uh, through it to see where I am in here, but I, I'm, I'm in the credits, so I did film something for this movie, uh, kind of like a weird little thing that was shot, at, you know. For this one uh so a quick thing so you pr will see me like pop up in it for like a split second in amityville in the hood uh as well but you guys know that i've been doing a lot of the um the amityville movies as well too uh then and the other ones here now these ones are all from gravitas ventures this is one that I was really looking forward to watching. Uh, this is one that, you know, it, it, it was produced by the Mahal. So I was really excited to see this one because there's a lot of people in here, too, that I know and have, I've worked with on, on the projects that I've done. And this is a movie here called uh, Death Count. And this one has, you know, Robert Lissardo, uh, you know, who's been in my films, uh, Michael Madsen, Casas Mandler uh, in this one. And it's basically, though, it's kind of like a Saw kind of movie. It has that kind of a feel to it. And basically, though, the um, it was kind of a role reversal, too, because Casas Mandler was from Saw. And in this one, he's kind of like reversed and he's playing like the, the guy doing the things instead of Jigsaw. So I thought it was kind of cool uh, in here too. But basically though, uh, in the movie though, it's a group of people that kind of end up like locked into this in these weird stall kind of jail cell type rooms it's kind of like um kind of it makes me think a little bit like of cube and those type of movies too um it had that kind of feel a little bit not like when they're trying to go in the other rooms with those kind of like self-contained kind of feel to to them that cube had but basically they're all in there 
trapped in there and they have to try and figure out how they're going to get out but what they have to do in this game is they have to do all these like torture things themselves so it's like oh you have to take a weapon that's in the room with you and like cut your finger off or you have to do this and pull your tongue out like it gets like worse and worse and worse as it goes along and it's like the goal is to kind of continue doing what you're told to survive otherwise they're like gas the room and you die so i, I don't know I, I enjoyed this one i thought they uh, did a really good job putting this one together and like i said i really enjoyed seeing uh, it was, it was I thought it was really cool seeing a lot of people who have been really supportive on the films that i've been doing in there too uh the next one's here uh, uh, and these are also awesome from Gravity's Adventures as well. And this is one here called Tethered. And this is an interesting movie. It's kind of about this kid, this blind kid who's out in the middle of the woods. And you kind of know that there's something going on out there, that there was something happened. And basically he has this rope that he has tied to himself so he can get back and to where he, you know, he, where he lives and everything. So, so he can kind of go out and look for things, go out and kind of find, try and find food and certain items and things of, those, of that nature. But he kind of knows the, the, where, he, where, where, he, where he can kind of go because of this rope. But he ends up coming across this guy out there into the woods, this hunter, and it kind of becomes this whole thing. It's a really interesting movie. Uh, definitely worth checking out here. Like I said, this one here is called Tethered. The other one here is a movie called My Babysitter, the Superhero. And this is really fun. This is basically about a kid who discovers that his, his babysitter has super is a super a secret agent. And it's kind of this whole like adventure that he goes on. But it was a really fun movie. It's directed by William Butler. If you guys know William Butler, he's done a lot of stuff for Full Moon in the past and, and things like that. And he's, he's an actor as well. He was I always think of him, uh, he's a really nice guy. I, I got to work with him on the movie called Ouija's uh, that they did for Full Moon. Uh, and he was a producer on that. So I got to meet him on that one. He's a really cool guy. And uh, But he, I always think of him from Ghoulies 2, which I, is one of my favorite movies like of all time. I don't know, I always love Ghoulies 2, but he's the guy in Ghoulies 2 that's like, oh, your tunes, man, his tunes. Like that like that guy. So like, I always think of like, when I, every time I would see him, I would think of like, my tunes, man. And I was like kind of saying it in my head to myself. Because I love that character. Like, that to me is, like, the ultimate character in, in, in like, an 80s movie and stuff like that. I, was, was that. I think it was the 80s when that was shot. I can't remember if it was, like, 80s or early 90s for Ghoulies 2. I always mix up on the date for that particular one. But really, really fun uh, film here. Lots of, like... um a lot of TV actors and stuff in here too, like Jim O'Hare was in here, uh, Mo Collins from, you know, um, who always been a fan of her from, you know, uh, Mayor TV. She's the one who was like Stuart's mother and the one that was always going over like the food with the sneeze guards and stuff like that in Mayor TV. Like those are some of my favorite skits on those ones. And the other one here is one um, called Hashtag Unknown. And this is basically though about a, a writer who's trying to put together his next book. And it's kind of like he ends up getting in, kind of entangled into this like murder investigation that's going on. And he kind of discovers about this murderer thing and he kind of ends up be, like kind of wanting to research it and kind of get to the bottom of it and like almost like do his own investigation on this whole thing because it's like fi finally kind of giving him ideas for more ideas for his next book because he's been having a lot of problems and kind of been like in a roadblock it's an interesting movie here like i said this one here is called hashtag unknown and the last one here this is from synapse films and this is the um film here called massacre at central high this is one of those movies too that i always remember that um one of the people who was in this, uh, who was, I remember when we were doing, um, years and years ago, I think 2010, Girls Gone Dead, the, um, and I'm pretty sure this was the movie. I think it was like Rex, and that he was one of the producers of the movie. Cool guy. He was telling me he was like he was in this movie, uh, and, and I was I was I was remember him like telling me about that. He's one of the characters in this film. But this is a movie like a, one of those movies too. Like I don't think that it had ever been on uh, Blu-ray before. I don't think so. And I'm trying to think too if there was a DVD uh, uh, before or not. It's one of those movies that really has not had a lot of releases. So I'm glad this one has come out. It's one of those kind of like school movies. It's like kind of like about the rival gangs at school and all these kind of problems. It's a really good movie. It's kind of the one that like made during that time when they were starting to do a lot of those kind of like it was actually a little bit before they did like savage streets was the one was it savage the other one there was a lot of different ones that they did like the school ones and then in the 90s and they did some of those other ones too but this is a really cool one here this one it has on here though the uh 1080p transfer on here remastered and scanned and transferred uh, supervised by the director on here has a uh, interview interviews on here with mike white from the projection booth uh, podcast has an interview on here with the director, Helen Highways, The Making of Central High on here, New Making of Documentary, Still Gallery on this one here as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for my review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.